Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm going to catch up on the final round of the Winter League run by Paul Gregory at Monk Hall. Now we've been doing it every round from like 1 to 5, it's all on my YouTube channel. This is the final round and how we've got on. So the fifth round, have you seen from a vlog, it was a bit of a disaster. We come last on the lake, didn't catch much at all, didn't have really much going on for us. Now this last round was going to be a real tense round, it was a real real set up to be a good battle because myself, Simon Harris and Morgan Davidson I think were like in the top five all on the same all on the same lake that day so we could draw in each other's section so now I'll we'll come to the conclusion when I arrive on time I don't draw very well so I was actually late again this day just to oversleep and I've been doing a bit of work on the Friday nights and it's my own fault and to be fair to Paul, he's been putting up with me being a bit late and sorting out my pegs and stuff so thank you for that Paul, I do appreciate it, I know I've been a bit late sometimes and it could be, I reckon it'd be quite stressful if he's trying to organise a match so I do apologise for that, my own fault and I'll try to get it sorted out but we're on buzzard pool this time, now this is a real, it's a brilliant lake at Monk Hall as they all are but it could, this can throw a spanner in the works as well because it's like big carp, eyed, F1s, if you get your match sort of wrong, you don't fish the right methods and right tactics at the time or you try and play it safe or pick the wrong thing to do, it can cost you massively because there are big stamping here and the thing is as well, Simon is really good on this lake, now they're all, all really good anglers fishing, Morgan's really good, Simon and Simon's really good on the feeder on this lake so he's got his own little way of fishing. Now. I haven't really got much confidence or experience fishing a little method and trying to catch some carp and being patient enough. I like to be nice and aggressive, tack it with maggots, try and get loads of bites, keep myself busy and hope, playing the law of averages, I catch enough fish to overtake them bigger stamp fish. Now, that was my thinking driving down on there and thinking, oh, I need, I'm going to have to fish a feeder, but if I can catch on the pole, now it's, this day, was going to be windy again so I'm thinking right last time I didn't set up heavy enough heavy enough rigs now this pool is deeper than the other one so I'm going to need like 4b18 rig that's what I set up on the day but we'll move on to that when I go for my rigs and stuff but yeah just what driving down I was a bit like dubious and that needed to have the A game about it to beat some of these lads on there so I've gone into the draw and actually drew was it, I think I drew I pegged three I drew so this actually won this lake the week before so which is a good thing it's got a bit of form there's a fish on this side but on this, the way the sections are, there's two on this bank and two on the other bank of this end of the lake and it's split. I actually had Simon next to me and then I had Morgan in my section. So Simon wasn't in my section, Morgan on peg 30, which can be a good peg. But when I speak about later, that side of the lake wasn't as productive as this side. Now, I don't know why that was. Maybe the wind, maybe the fish didn't want to go and sit on that side. Maybe that's where the sun sits. It's a weird scenario. So I'm thinking, right, well, it's going to be... It was windy day. At the start, it wasn't that windy. It would give forecast to go stupid gusts. It was like when them store, all them storms were coming in. I think it was middle of Feb. I know we're late now, but I'm just trying to catch up on my YouTube. And I've been a nightmare, a bit, a bit of technical issue with both this and my members' channel. But we'll get back on track now and get sorted. But nice, simple approach. I thought, right, I've got a fish to w try and win the match or try and win the lake. It's off. I didn't realise. I thought the droppers counted in the results, but actually, it was on wet section wins, then weight. So. It was all to play for. Simon's beaten by two pounds, so in theory, I had to match Simon's result and beat his weight as well. So it was a good thing to have him next to me because I could see all the little tricks he does with his feeder. And I'll come to that in a minute because I did learn a few things off him and it was really interesting. And if he ever fished on there again in the winter, it'd be worthwhile because I think I learned a lot about that day. So I've fished, I've started to set up. I set up dobbing across and a maggot rig across as well because at the start, the wind was low who could get across but obviously after 10 minutes that was a no-go set up a little feeder and I've set up a short maggot line I've been dead positive it's a little feeder little ICM method tiny method now I put one mil and two mil mixed so thin I'm not thin thin perfect two mils and then the pro feed pellets in the one mil now the reason why I've done the two mix is because I feel like I can add that one mil and it can fill in the gaps in the two mils so it's half and half it'll get a nice mold I know it's gonna get to the bottom nice the fill the gaps is not much food content so that's what I wanted I didn't want too much food content it was still cold still 
still freezing time of year now it's getting a little bit warmer now but it's still quite bitter today but I've set that up and I've set a short maggot line now a short maggot line I've set a 4B18 up because the wind was so bad nice big body I think it was the old into carbon it was it's a nice big heavy float Vulcan 2 droppers positive droppers and I fed a 6, six meter line I think it was so Got a few lines there which I thought, right, if it gets windy I can fish a feeder or I can fish my short pole bag to hope to catch some hide. Now, I've started the match, I've been able to get across, I've flipped my rig in Dobbin, I've had my first chuck. Now, probably three or four pound carp, sorry, first chuck on the Dobbin and then after that I've not been able to hold my pole across. So I've literally got to get on this feeder. Chuck the feeder off the bank, slightly on the point, there's like a little, there's like a bay there is, it's like I've got an island, the end of the island's in front of me and I've got a bay it goes to another island so I've chucked it there and as I've chucked my feeder in it's like hit a few fish on the way down and I'm thinking well that's a good sign put the rod down it's gone round straight away so I'm thinking right well chucked it again just about meet yourself the island same again two discs of punch breads eight mil bread just on a little hair now I was putting my I was filling my feeder up then putting my hook bait on just wrapping it into molding it into the feeder so I was sitting there trying to create a little chat now what Simon he actually leaves his hook, hook length hanging out so after a few chucks I didn't have any few fish chucked it with a hook length out it's gone again so I've had a nice little match just the first three hours I've actually just sat on that feeder trying to work a few things out did chuck a little maggot feeder didn't catch anything on it put a piece of corn on my method had a couple of that but it was apparent don't know why they wouldn't go the other side of the road because Morgan's chucking a feeder, the fella opposite me is chucking a feeder and I'm chucking a feeder in and I can get an odd sign and whenever it hit a fish on the way down, I caught one. Now obviously when I first started I probably upset that ball and what happens is I felt like they drifted off to the right into this middle bit where it's like no man's land where me or Glenn, you're being a bit cheeky if you chuck there and I didn't want to chuck there to save upset or anything, you're poaching other people's pegs, there's no need, you just fish your peg to the limit. So what I was trying to do is try and chuck it to there go it goes close to can to the area sort of thing and then once it's back to run out try and come short pole sit on that for a little bit and then when you go back you'll be able to chuck a bit close to the island and get one or two runner fish and they're big fish they're like three four pound carp that short that maggot line was nice and steady away of had odd f1 on it but there's one thing it's quite contradicting the wind died like last 30 minutes i missed a few bites now i believe this because my rig's too heavy but I maybe should have set a 4 14 up just in case the wind dropped but last week it was always in my mind that I didn't want that aspect of losing out because of that rig being too light last time I didn't get many bites now I've got a bit too heavy this time but talking fine margins now if it, is, if it sort of played out in the match that's what you're talking about I can set another rig up just in case the wind drops now obviously if I go again I'll set them up in time but it's just... I didn't think the wind was going to drop, it was going to forecast it to get worse and I think if it was there on the side trail, I'd have caught a few more eyes on that drop, that's where you're missing the bites on the settle, maybe going too fast past the fish, missing a few bites, maybe cost you a few pounds, that's something to think about. Now the result, the result on day, I've had a brilliant match, I've actually weighed £64, this won the match on the day, so I've got a section win. Simon next to me fished brilliant, he's come second in the match, he's had £54. And what was interesting as well, I didn't set it up at the time, Simon and the chap next to me have all caught like F1s on the slope in like four, four and a half foot, but like windward, downwind, with the wind, sorry. Now, where's Morgan? I was speaking to him at the end. He's obviously fishing and he's fishing down the edge, but he's got the wind pushing his rig out as where they got pushing the rig into the bank. So I think the toes affected how he's caught. That's why I think the other bank was, other bank was worse than the side we were on it's like the fish wanted to sit with the with the facing that way instead of turning around and having like the toe coming through the gills i don't know it, it, it just seemed right that day that they've caught a few fish on like top four just down the shelf slightly and this is like the start of like the sort of springy coming to me like it was in the middle of feb but like they started to catch f1s on the shelf now we've been all winter where there's only deep water odd on the shelf dobbing and Simon's caught a few there, mainly smaller F1s, but it was interesting to see it changing. But he's at £54, he's won a section as well. So we've gone back to the cafe, found out I've actually won the league by £7, just pip Simon, he's fished a brilliant match all league. But I was actually buzzing with that. After that last week, I didn't think right, didn't let it get to me. Just thought, right, set up the right things this week, target my pegs, try and win the match as well, I win my section, try and get the most out of my peg. 
and obviously it's felt good for us. We've been lucky with the draw, we've drew really well. I think I've had three match wins. I think three match wins, I won my late once, I come last, and then I was second one other time. So we've had a good lead, but I felt like I've learnt loads about Monk Hall, especially fishing there, and I'm fishing the Pairs League with Jamie, which you can see on my members talking about all about that. But just learned so much and it's been enjoyable. It's like a new thing. Yeah, I've been there a few times in winter, but nothing like I've committed to it this year. I tried to commit to it the other year, but then obviously COVID happened again and we just, everything got cancelled. So this year it's been nice to commit to a league. We caught loads of fish. We've had loads of good fishing, learned so much. We just had a nice league and nice to finish on the league win. So I've enjoyed catching up through the league going through everyone's seen how i've been catching yeah we had a disappointing fifth round but it's been enjoyable learnt loads especially being simon on that second day just a bit about the feeder really interesting because they do catch a lot of fish and he's won a few matches on that buzzard fishing that feeder and i think it's something i'm just gonna have to go and practice in my armory we've got the super cup this year i wasn't going to enter it but i've entered it so monk hall is in that region and sometimes the matches are on buzzard and i think if you can get that method right you can probably you have a good chance of getting through to that semi-final final sort of thing that super cup so that's one thing at least we've learned at least we've got on bad it but i want to touch on the rod i used as well i've used an sl instead of a normal superior now this is just a little bit softer just i fished a little 18s hook so it's tiny hooks and just took my time playing the fish got every fish in made every fish count so sometimes when when you can get thinking about it when it matters and you just want to get every fish in when the weight is sort of that 50 to 60 pound mark where a big carp or something can sway it in your favour tone down your hooks a little bit make sure your gear is set up the right way and you can catch more fish that way but no it's been enjoyable lead nice to finish on a win really enjoyed it thanks for paul for running it ben for letting us use the fishery and everyone else being accommodating we had a good laugh glenn was an absolute nightmare next to me in that buzzard chatting me head off all day but we've had a good loads of banter be nice to fish with the lads and hopefully we we'll get stuck into it next year but i'll see you guys on the bank soon thanks for watching guys if you like what you see don't forget to give the video a like and a comment below but if you're looking to something to improve your fishing a little bit more or in, really enjoy watching live matches or learning about new methods or just general real in-depth match reports don't forget to check out my members channel in the description below